the gospel or the sermon, the text for the sermon this morning. It's taken from the 13th chapter of St. Matthew, it's beginning with the 44th verse. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in the field, which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had, and bought it. Of these two parables, the treasure in the field and the pearl of great price, I want to skip over the one and concentrate on the pearl. And the reason I'm doing that, and I ask the Master's forgiveness, is because, what the heck was he thinking? <laughs> he, he's got a guy that's ne digging around, rummaging around in somebody else's property, finds some treasure buried there, right? Says, oh, cool buries it again, and then goes and sells off all of his goods so that he can get enough money to buy the field, <coughs> thereby putting the screws to his neighbor, whoever it was that owned the field. He said, okay, I get the parable. It's a great parable, and I understand it. But it's not as clear for me as the second. Okay. So here's a, a merchant who buys and sells pearls. Right? That's, his, that's his job. He knows pearls. He's seen a great number of them that he's liked, he's bought, and he's sold. And in his quest for pearls to add to his, his business, to his inventory, he finds this one, and it must be, a, it must be spectacular, right? Because he immediately goes and sells everything that he's got to go ahead and buy this one. Both of these parables have in common the fact that these people are discovering something which they must later procure. They can't have it right now. They're introduced to it. But it's not theirs yet. They have to do something first. What is that? They have to sell everything that they own. They have to get rid of things in order to acquire this thing that they've been introduced to. Okay. And isn't that an awful lot like the spiritual path? Isn't that an awful lot like the discovery of, of self and the light within? That we're introduced to it in this initial, initiatory way. But we have to go ahead and divest ourselves of all of the things that we hold dear, all of our possessions, all those other pearls, which were great too, right? It's not like they were junk. But now it's time to get rid of those so that we can acquire this one thing. Okay. I love contemplating what that pearl is in me. And so we find that we have the, the indwelling Spirit of God, the infinite and eternal Creator of all that is, that lives in us and is us. What could possibly be more valuable than that? What could possibly keep us from selling everything that we own? All of our belief systems, all of our opinions, all of our past spiritual experiences, 
everything up until this very moment so that we can enter into union with our own being, the Creator, connected to all that is. From before the Word was spoken and to every nook and cranny of manifestation. Somebody once told me to be ever vigilant because we are not that far out of the woods that we can be blasé about our spirituality. We can't say just because we've had some searingly real experiences and we know how to meditate and we know how to pray and we may have been introduced to certain spiritual gifts and abilities that have been innate, innate in us and are being released. And the temptation is to coast on that and to ride on our laurels. Right? It is for me And a subtle siren song is out there that's lulling us back to sleep that says, Come, you're really smoking, dude. <laughs> you're really knocking it out of the park. You are enlightened. Come, relax. And of course, for me, the moment that I allow that to happen, I'm no longer experiencing the union, that gift, the pearl of great pie price. And so, once again, I'm introduced to it. I get, through grace, another glimpse of that pearl within me. And yet again, discover that I can't just grab it and own it, but I have to let go of a whole other layer of things that I had acquired the secretion of things and deeper we go and I don't know if there's an end to that process I suspect not but what a wonderment that the grace exists to lift the veil every so often, to give us a glimpse of something deeper. No matter how far we think we have progressed, a glimpse of that something deeper. And then we're given the mandate to go and get rid of whatever you need to get rid of so that you can enter into union with that which I have shown you. God bless us all in this journey. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.